be interesting to see if they match up and play each other early in this game. Uh, I think you're going to see Jackson Davis on him early. <laughs> IU controls the tip, and it Frank Galloway again gets the start at point guard. They leave Ray Thompson alone, and he knocks down the game's first shot. That's big. That's really big, making perimeter shots. Let's take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Degree. And, of course, not just Edie in the middle, but a group around him that will benefit from all the attention that he draws. And there is a double team and a turnover. He's got a one-on-one -on -one inside. Here he goes. Rolling it off the rim is Trace Jackson Davis. You know, he had a good look inside there. He's a key for them, obviously, focused in their offense. Oh, they moved the ball so well. First from the corner, knocks down a three. Caleb first gets Purdue on the board. You know, Purdue, they moved the ball really well. They look for the open shooters. It's just not the big guy in the middle. The perimeter players are very good. There's the starting five for IU, brought to you by Degree and Jalen hood Shafino. A freshman has seen his role certainly increase in the absence of Xavier Johnson. Yeah, they miss Xavier. He's certainly a tremendous point guard for them. Knocking down a jumper, though, is Hood Shafino. He was only one of 14 in the loss to Maryland. So that's a very good early indicator for Indiana. Yeah, him making shots would really be big. He's one for 14 down there and didn't get it done, obviously, against the Terps of Maryland. Braden Smith nearly turned it over. First bails him out. Edie on the putback. There's that size, man. You can't teach that. 7-4. He's played a lot more minutes. You know, last year his numbers weren't great because he was playing about 17 minutes a game. He shared it with the kid Williams, who was very effective in the post. Galloway from straightaway knocks down a triple. Tell you one thing, they're making their shots. Galloway goes big time, and they love it here. If they make those shots, we will have real Hoosier hysteria here. Fletcher Lawyer around Galloway on the drive. Oh, it's rejected by Jackson Davis. A steal in the corner by Hood Shafino. Out to midcourt. It's taken by Jackson Davis. He drives it. Spin cycle and draws the foul. Certainly a disciples when you think about A pair for Jackson Davis. You know, a lot of people have to decide what they're going to do and try to defend. Edie, do you double him up? And then people get open, they find him for the three, or do you play him head on? And right now they're playing him head to head right there. Edie, too strong. Another rebound for Jackson Davis. He does a great job reading the defense and getting good angles on his moves. Hood Shafino off the front rim. Braden Smith, shot fake, 280, throws it down. He's first. He's clearly the player right now leading to be the national player of the year. Hey, no doubt about it. Hood Shafino is fouled. A reach in on Ethan Morton. Brandon Newman comes on. They got a nice bench play. Shafino with a nice backdoor pocket pass. Free throws in the Big Ten. Number two to Penn State. They won nine straight until last year. Indiana beat them here by three points to end that streak. The 216th meeting between these two teams. And Purdue off to the best start in school history. Leading into this one, they have won 10 of the last 11 head-to-head. -head. Tough to be better than 22 and 1. Cruising with the reverse, Edie, and then Faust, or rather first with the follow after the initial reverse wouldn't go for Smith. First, that 6'10 comes over, nobody checks him out. Concentration on Edie, he gets the open lane to the goal, and there's the score. There's the ball screen, a switch on it. Galloway floater is good. Galloway with a nice little start to this game. Gets into the three-second area off the ball screen. Look at the focus defensively. Look at the eyes of the players. They really are so in tune. Braden Smith. First moves it. Nine on the shot clock. Lawyer gives it up. 
Shot fake for Newman. Nearly turns it over. Tracks it down. Two on the timer. It goes out of bounds. We're ready today. We're ready for Purdue. Well, it's unbelievable. We have. <laughs> he already has five points and three rebounds, but now his size vacates the middle. Trace Jackson Davis could not take advantage. Turnover that was the biggest Purdue. concern. Bob oh, spoke to Matt Painter before the game. He said last year we turned the ball over here, and normally we don't. Last game they had seven turnovers in their victory, but they played. But the bottom line is they're turning it over a little bit here. I think they're caught up with the emotion, the passion that's taking place. And let's see how the freshmen especially handle this atmosphere. Jalen Hood Shafino, number one in red and white. He's off to a good start, and always, it seems, off to a good start. Trace Jackson Davis. Tell you one thing, he's been absolutely sensational. We have probably the two best big kids you could maybe say in America right here. Two guys really playing great for their teams. He's been super the last six games, Trace Jackson Davis. Well, let's take a look at today's Sonic Blockbuster. Mason Gillis in the game for the first time off of the nine three-point performance the other night. Fletcher Lawyer tries a deep one. That's in and out. And Jackson Davis has the rebound. They're trying to play Lawyer really tough because he's an outstanding long-range shooter. Right there was a tough opportunity. Hand was right in his face. Jackson Davis, spin cycle. Throws it down! I'll tell you one thing, he wants the ball, especially, especially with Edie on the sideline. Why not go to him? He's their bread and butter. <laughs> They're right up in the lawyer's face, man. Galloway's right up in his face, not letting him get open looks. Shot clock down to eight. Newman drives it, picks up his dribble. Cross court bounce pass. Gillis travel. Turnover, right? He knows how to play. He can rebound, he can pass, he can score. I'm telling you, somewhere in that league, he can play. Immediately double teamed here. He'll face up. Whips a cross court pass that's picked off by Braden Smith. Tamar Scoop Bates in for the first time for Indiana. Straight away Smith. Can't hit the triple. Edie back in, gets the offensive rebound. Double teamed and foul. And he said when he first got here, he basically couldn't catch the ball down low without throwing an elbow. And it made sense. He just wasn't a developed player yet, but he's become so much more smooth and sophisticated with his game. As Gillis tries a three, can't hit it. Edie keeps it alive. Yep. Trace Jackson. Davis right on Edie right now, trying to put a body on him. Giving up a lot of size. Brandon Smith shoveled it. A turnover taken away by Galloway. Turn, turning that ball over. Nice pass. And a mugging Great underneath pass. by Mason Gillis. And some words exchanged. Trace Jackson Davis takes exception. Hey, Trace, we're going to go tonight for dinner down here in Bloomington. Duke, who I think is going to be a very good NBA player eventually. And Matt Painter said that that was one of the best things that could have happened to Edie, just practicing every day against Mark Williams. So far, Indiana's done a good job perimeter defense. Really not getting him open looks from the threes. Now watch Zach. He, see, he reads the defense really well. Good Shafino, the lob. And a little too far off yeah. time to Jackson Davis. Yeah. Lawyer after his own miss. Drives it. Stripped away. Fast break Two opportunity. One. Two Here's the lob. Hello. Oh, works. Jackson Davis throws it down. Hello. Up, up, and away. Trace Jackson Davis. He's got a good start to this game, baby. This team's a lot better looking than we saw against Kansas. Tough drive for Braden Smith. Here's a major statistic why they've had such a great year. You ready for this, Bob? I was blown away. They've made 350 free throws coming into this game, 
and their opponents have only shot 221. So they've made over 130 more free throws than their opponents have shot. That's driving the ball, hustling, scrapping, getting out in transition, getting the ball inside to the big guy. But that's a major, major number. And that has not shown itself in the first 10 minutes here. Offensive rebound. Renew. The putback is good. That was a great play. Offensive rebound by Renew right there. He's had some good halves. Had a good half against Minnesota. And he scored 10 and a half. He's been a little bit up and down, but he's a young player. It's a screen and roll now. Watch for the lob. Smith softly off the window. Won't go. Eating the putback. Yes. He's got a nice touch around the basket. He really does. Soft hands. You know, obviously with the NBA, he's not listed in the first round, but he's going to help somebody coming off the bench eventually and get better and better. He's part of, you know, the old, old school post guy versus what the guys stepping out shooting threes. Another floater is good for Trey Galloway. He's had a real good start to this game, Galloway. really played well. They're hoping they can get Xavier Johnson back, especially at tournament time. Look at the defense on the ball. Look at that defense. The fight, no trailing over the screen. I mean, Callaway is focused. Look at that hustle. Lawyer Incredible. somehow finds the loose ball. It's knocked out of bounds. That they are defending better than I think they've done all year. All year. Four to shoot. Smith gives it up. From the baseline, knocking it down with one on the shot clock is Ethan Morton. That's the big part of your game, making threes. Talking about Gillis making nine to last game. It could be Lawyer, it could be Smith, Horton. This guy can shoot the rock. He's trying to take him one-on-one right now. First is checking him. Galloway gives it up. And the bunny missed. The tip follow he is not there for Caleb Banks. And coming up at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific here on ESPN, the 190th meeting of North Carolina Duke. Matt Painter's done a great job. I think he's one of the most underrated coaches in America in terms of nationally. There's people in the Big Ten know he can coach. But nationally, he just really doesn't get the kind of recognition he deserves. Extra pass to the corner. The three short for Scoop Bates, an offensive rebound. Kept alive by Banks. The double up on Jackson Davis. You got to find him, but now he's taking him one on one. He so, goes at Edie and lost it. At his tried to do too much by Braden Smith. Jenkins drives it, and he is bumped by Scoop Bates. Jenkins can't hit at the free throw line. Race, Race Thompson has the rebound, and here comes Bates. You know, Race Thompson playing with a, you know, a bad knee. He's really been struggling with that knee, and he's trying to give the team whatever he can. Down on the floor. Kept it alive. The extra pass, Spates for three. Yes! Mike Woodson said, we got to make perimeter shots today. Something we didn't do against Maryland. Well, they're answering that call. They're doing that. Lawyer, shot fake at the elbow, draws the foul. He got Scoop Bates. Home. I think they lost one game at home. They lost to UCLA. So far, I'm telling you what, Galloway's given him a good effort here. He really has. Well, they'll be a different team if and when they're able to get Xavier Johnson back. We they do him. think that Jordan Geronimo may be able to get into today's game and give them some minutes at some point. They're not sure how many, and we'll see if he is called upon. There's a turnover, though, on the entry by Bates. Tele he telegraphed that pass. You could read that that was coming. Purdue anticipated really well to break the passing lane. That's the third Indiana turnover. Trey Kaufman Wren reposts, leans in, draws the foul. How to utilize their footwork, drop steps. Side Purdue's huddle, very calm, no panic, no yelling by Matt Painter, just methodically going through plays. It's a lot like what we watched at shoot around. A very chill mode. Matt Painter believes when you start to show stress, anxiety, your players see that. They feed on that. So wanting to have some chillness out of this team right now. Tough in this atmosphere. And it gets louder as Miller Cop knocks it down. Tell you one thing, he was a big time shooter when he shot the ball down there at Northwestern. 
But this great ball reversals, find the open man. I'm telling you, this is a different team we're looking at than we saw against Kansas. They were humiliated, embarrassed by the Jayhawks. Edie inside, throws it down. Tell you one thing, unbelievable the way he made it. Great post position inside. Let me just ask Tom Izzo how good this kid is. He's been 38 and 31 on a board against Michigan State. But Chafino rises up, connects. <laughs> That's big. He's a real strong athlete, played at Mount Verde Academy, a lot of talent. He's been a little up and down. He's a young kid, he's a freshman. He's a type of dad. He's made two of his first three tonight after a one for 14 outing against Maryland. Smith leans in, draws the foul. Let's put the team's 10th. So it will be free throws the rest of the way here in the first half. And we cap it off at the Big Ten with a top 10 matchup. Ohio State and Maryland, all three games are also on the ESPN app. Indiana's been very efficient offensively, executing well, except right there. He's playing up, throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. Nine game winning streak by Purdue. Edie against Jackson Davis, kicks it up top, reposts. Edie fumbled it and turned it over. Nine first half turnovers now. Down the lane oh. goes Trace Jackson Davis. That's a thunderous jam, baby. He's a Skywalker. Spoke briefly with Bob. He's right now down in Ohio visiting a former teammate. As Edie getting the ball too easy inside there. He wasn't challenged at all. This is a guy named Gearhart. He played for Ohio State in a great national championship team with Jerry Lucas and John Havlicek and Larry Siegfried. I wish Bob the best and his beautiful wife, Carol. Put your feet on the lob and another dunk for Jackson Davis. Hey, Edie scores in the lane, right, with the little jump hook in the lane. Trent Jackson says, Davis, try this one, Mr. Edie. Up and up, man. These two guys can play. See, great angles. Through traffic and one for Edy. Oh, man, he's great catch, great lob. Beautiful two-man game right there. There's another example we talked about a little bit earlier about angles, how he utilizes the angles really well, and he reads the defense exceptionally well. Top off to Jackson Davis through contact, and he has an end one. He stares, what's that? It's a little bit of lucky break there. The ball bounces his way. Old-fashioned. You want to go in at halftime, double-digit lead. You don't want to ruin this unbelievable performance here in the first 16 minutes. They've really shut down Lawyer. Lawyer for three. Can't they, hit it. They really made it tough. Out of bounds. Yep, bicycles. People should help them out. Help those kids. Here we go. Lakers, Pelicans at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific. Then at 8.30 Eastern on ABC, our NBA Saturday primetime matchup, the Mavs and the Warriors. I, I don't think that Mike Woodson could have planned, planned it any better for the effort he's getting from his kids today defensively. They are really in tune. Sent me a text. Steven, I got your text. He <laughs> sent me a text. He says, we don't. See, he talks about we still because he's a Hoosier diehard. He said, we don't lose when we wear those retro uniforms. They wear those retro uniforms of years ago that he wore. He used to unbelievable coming off screens in a Bobby Knight offense. Steve's doing a good job in Nevada right now as a coach. Foul in the lane. Pressure here. Davidson Fletcher. Hey, coming up next. Are you kidding me? They're all Dukies. Well, from Cameron at 630, Duke Carolina. As soon as we are done here in Bloomington. Bates back in the game playing with three fouls. Diagonal pass. Shot fake. Cop for three. Yes! That is a design play. I'll tell you why. When Jackson 
Davis is double team. He knows I'm looking away from the double team to a guy that can shoot it in Cobb. Cobb was a great three-point shooter when he played at Northwestern as well. That's just tremendous basketball efficiency. Lawyer with a crossover. Kicks it out to the wing. There's a three on the way that won't go down for Brandon Newman. What went on in a Tennessee game? The offense, where was it? First free throw miss. You may hear the reaction that the crowd had to that foul. In <laughs> That's a one of nickel dimes. Billy Rafter even say, come on, man. Washington, great kid, St. Louis. Beautiful kid, lost his life. We need more research dollars. Oh, nice That's look. Oh. Cutting the baseline was Caleb Banks. Great pass by Banks. They are putting a clinic on. This is probably the best basketball Indiana has played this year for a half. Can it sustain it to the second half? I mean, they are really executed offensively, defensively. They're playing as a unit, as a team. Kaufman ran the jump hook, rolls home. Well, he got the ball to roll in there that time. Indiana in the first half, 17 of 26 from the floor, 4 of 6 from 3, and 8 of 9 at the line. Well, it's pretty efficient. And also, we're not talking about what they've done defensively. They have really been so tenacious on the defensive end, helping each other, communicating, blocking out. You know, Purdue's a great rebounded team. They lead the nation. You know, plus 11 differential against the people they play. Eights for three. And a foul called underneath on Lawyer. You're not 22 and one, and you're gonna sit down and back and get your butt whipped by your arch rival. They're gonna come out fighting like you cannot believe. Well, you made the point earlier, and some of the main concerns that Matt Painter had about this game have come to fruition in the first half as Lawyer finally hits a three. That's a big shot for the Boilermakers. Absolutely. If they could get in single digits, it would be a moral victory. A moral victory for the way they've really been outplayed. <laughs> He's played a steady game. Galloway on the perimeter. Ceiling inside. Jackson Davis. The double, double team. Up. Triple team. Foul. The NBA for years, Dale Davis. You ready for this? Indiana is the favorite here today. Indiana is the favorite. Can you believe that? They're one point favorite. So I don't hear all the newscasts if they win. Oh, major upset. It's not a major upset. Pocket pass. Jackson Davis rejects. Kaufman right at the rim. He, he said, brings it the other way. He said, get it out of here, baby. Don't bring it. How he wants the ball one on one. To the baseline. Oh, the reverse won't go. And Kaufman ran the rebound. A pocket picking. Oh. Leaning in. Says scoring is Caleb Banks. Plus the foul. Oh, no. Not a foul. Back the other way. Firing it. Length of the court. Just wow. missing. How can Purdue turn back into the number one team in America in the second half and put a run together and challenge Indiana? You know, Mike Woodson told or Chris about the great defense they played and the execution. And he was so right. They were so focused defensively. <laughs> Trying to put head to head right now with Trace Jackson Davis. But he right there with that size advantage, the touch. He's got such soft hands. He's got a good touch. He's the old school post center. Something has disappeared. 17 for Zach Eady. And a good start to the second half for the Boilers. Foul away from the ball. Looks like that's going to go against Caleb first. We're so analytical with us before the game. There's Galloway the drives it. Can't hit. First the rebound. He said, I'm concerned about turnovers. Got two Hoosiers behind the play. That allows a lawyer a wide open look. But hustling down the floor, one of those players involved in that collision was Miller Kopp. He recovered and got the rebound. That's how Miller Kopp's made a couple of big threes in this game. He's a guy that came way to transfer. Jackson Davis faces up the double team attacks, but he attacks the basket. Tell you one thing, he's so aggressive today. 
He's really asserted himself. He said, you know what? I came here with a big reputation. Well, big stars play well in big moments, and he is doing that. Oh, he's one-on-one -on -one right here. That's the advantage. He can't play him down there. He can't play him one-on-one. -on -one. He said, you know what? He may be a big star, but I'm bigger. I'm 7'4". I'm a real big star. Jackson Davis has 20, and Edie has 19. So that big man matchup we expected has been terrific so far. As But Shafino can't connect. Edie the rebound. Tell you one thing, he said, make sure you put the word real big star. Put the word real in there. He's been so consistent all year. He's been a double squirrel all year. But right now they're trying to play him one on one. Edie with the spin move and the lay in. He's got 21. Can't play him one on one. Cannot. You got to get some help. He gets those angles. As Coach Woodson, he was some kind of player, man. He was some kind of player. You know, he told us he took them out. Certainly that had painted those before the game was concerned turnovers. Well, you talk about certainly Mike Woodson. He said, I'm concerned about us making shots. We don't make shots sometimes. Here's a shot made by Hood Shafino. They made shots here from the perimeter. They really executed offensively. So both coaches really weren't giving us a lot of coach jazz. They were being factual with us. He is trying to play him so hard. Check. Oh, that's it. Double up. Get the ball up. Get the ball out of his hands. Double him up. Way short. Don't allow transition buckets, hit our free throws, and we'll be able to chip away at this thing. You know, think about that, Chris. The one thing that's made all that happen to get the adrenaline going are the fans. I mean, these kids have really utilized the crowd and been so pumped up for this game. Tough drive by Lawyer, and he flips it home. He's a good player, man. He is a good player. Young, tough, tenacious, can make shots. <laughs> Matt Painter's all fired up on the sideline. He's going to be no quit in his team. Not. Fletcher Lawyer's got 10, only the second time in the last six for the Boilermakers that he's hit double figures. Ball movement, caught the extra pass to Galloway. Can't hit the three. Edie the rebound. He's got double double, number 19 with that rebound, first in the nation. Tell you one thing, they did a terrific job reversing the ball, hit the open look. Edie on the offensive glass, knocked away, and Edie yeah. in the post. Muscles his way to the goal and uses the window. What a second half performance he's putting on. In the first four minutes, he has been absolutely brilliant. He's been what I've said years ago. He's a 3S man, super scintillating, sensational. And you said moral victory at halftime. It didn't happen, get it to single digits. As Galloway comes up short, but Purdue's got it under 10 now. Indiana will let, lace him up and really come to play for the last 15 minutes. Because Purdue has come out with vengeance here in this half. A little chip on their shoulder if they were embarrassed that first half. First can't hit the three. The back tap by Edie. Lawyer down the lane. Scoops. Can't finish. And it's knocked off the backboard by Race Thompson. Put Shafino the other way. Diagonal to the corner. That three comes up short for Cop. <laughs> now they've gotten cold all of a sudden here. First half, those babies were going down. They better D it up. They better D it up. That three rims off for Fletcher Lawyer. Another rebound for Race Thompson. Good rebound right there by Thompson. Jackson Davis to the goal. And a blocking foul is called on first. So I yelled him. I said, Mike, what are you doing here, Brexit? Like, that I'm a shooter, scorer. Man, has he proven it? I mean, are you kidding me? Now the deb debate's going to really rage after Certainly what LeBron's doing, who's the greatest of all time. But I mean, two guys that just are so, are so talented. It doesn't happen by accident, people. There's the first time that Edie's been able to set up Mason Gillis for a three, and Purdue has it down to seven. He made nine the last game, but that was a big three. You could see Uncle Mo has shifted here. And I think the crowd's even feel it because they're not as loud and boisterous as they were in that first half. Thompson across the lane, fades away over Edie, comes up short. Tell you one thing, Uncle Mo has arrived with the Boilermakers, there's no question. <clears throat> Grace Thompson battling heck, trying to check Edie in the post. They're getting Edie the ball, and they're making some shots. I'll tell you one thing, I think the crowds at Jolene really had the players so fired up that first half that I, the focus was unreal. 
a good movement. The extra pass sets up the three that's down and out, up and back in as Edie's fouled on the floor. It was called on Trace Jackson Davis, only his first. You see the more confidence that Purdue's playing with right now. More, look at his corner to goal, strong. Gillis in the mid range, across the lane with a jump stop with the left hand, no good. Malik Renu, here's a good rebound. Your, you need your star right now. Your star's got to respond here. He's got to respond for that. They're getting that little lift. They did a little psychological lift right now, Indiana. Good Shafino, blocked by Edie. Shut down at the rim. Can't challenge him around the basket. Gillis scoops and finishes. What a strong drive by Gillis. A physical, strong player. Shoot the three as well. He had 25 starts last year. They're back. Here comes the crowd. No, oh, Boilermakers are back, baby. Indiana's largest lead was 16. It's down to five. Cop draws the foul on Fletcher Lawyer. You mentioned Michael Jordan earlier. That had a little yeah. bit of a Jordan flair yeah, it to did. it. <laughs> Very little. <laughs> Mid range, Hood Shafino gets the roll. Oh, get the bounce. Get the bounce. Boy, did they ever need a score in that possession. <laughs> and now they got to really rise on the defensive end. And the crowd has come alive. Smith left alone. Can't hit. Good job on the offensive glass. Fighting for the loose ball was Mason Gillis. You force steals, you force turnovers, you offensive rebound, you block shots. Those are all signs of playing aggressive basketball. Jackson Davis right at the big man. And the follow is there as a result for the freshman Malik Renew. He's got six. He got the open layup on the offensive rebound. And somebody rotated over to Trace Jackson Davis. Gillis feeds the post. Edie shuffled his feet. Offensive foul. Three. He backed his way into Jackson Davis, and they call the charge. Not getting any kind of a break with a nine-point lead for Indiana. I, I agree with that. If I'm Matt Painter, I can play my star. You're nine points down with 11 minutes left. Can't worry about those three fouls. You got to play them. Jackson He's Davis attack him. at Edie. Lays it in. Smart move by Trace Jackson Davis. He knew that Edie was going to be a little light on the defensive end, and he attacked him. That's just being cerebral. That's playing intelligently, Mr. Mushuzi. Dick Vitalesque. <laughs> You're cerebral. <laughs> Good ball movement. <laughs> Jenkins passed up a three. Went to Edie, gets it back. Edie reposts. They feed him again. Seven to shoot. Jenkins left alone. This time tries the triple and knocks it down. A big one for David Jenkins. Sorry, Jenkins hits that three. But why was he wide open? You know, you got to credit Mr. Edie. His post presence created the opportunity as he does many times. You have somebody so efficient down in the lane, it opens it up for many people. A lob oh. and another finished backdoor for Jackson Davis. Too easy. Too easy. Can't give that easy lob like that. Come on now. A better defensively than that. And you look at Purdue. <laughs> Rutgers beat Purdue by one. That's the only loss this season for the Boilermakers, and they are 7 and 0 on the road. That foul called on Miller Kopp. That's his third. And you we know, approach the midway point of the half. The Hoosiers are 12 and 1 at home. The only loss was one point to Northwestern. So they really feel comfortable playing in this environment. Braden Smith, hesitation dribble, kicks it to the corner. And there's a three knocked down by Brandon Newman. And that's a big one for Purdue as well. Yeah. Well, the three ball's been so good to them all year. And they've responded here down to seven, baby. Jackson Davis spins on first and double dribbled. <laughs> Nothing could be that atmosphere as well. Yeah, Uber Davis's kids from that moment on beating Duke, they were a different team. Here we go right here. Can Indiana would stand the rush by here by Purdue. Up 16, and here it is, baby. Oh! David Jenkins, oh. the UNLV transfer, does it again. 
Jenkins better get these guys off the bench and convert. It's down to four, baby. Get out the Pepto Bismol if you're an Indiana fan. I guess all the drugstores are getting hit big time right now. Running out buying that Pepto. <laughs> Galloway. Oh, wow. Down the lane. Picks up his dribble. Deflected ball. And Huchapino recovers. Renew. Overeating. Yes! Tell you one thing, he's made two really good plays in this game. They needed a basket there, he delivered. He's going to be a very good player that night, but then he's coming off the bench. How big was that for Indiana? They needed that baby badly. Smith. Jackson Davis loose on the floor. Finally a whistle, and it's a held ball for the Boilermakers. Eating spins across the lane, draws a foul on a reach in. 38 and 13, Michigan State. 19 9 against Michigan. Jenkins feeling it too strong. First kept it alive and draws a foul. Has a coach ever been pleased with a referee's whistle? I don't think so. Uh oh, trouble Eating, right there. Hook Tr trouble right there. He catches the ball there. It's like automatic. It's automatic. 25 for Edie. Here come the Boilermakers. Showing wider, 22 and 1. I told you there'd be no quit in this club. I tell you the halftime. He wants to roll to the goal. Good Shafina off balance. Looked like he got caught mid decision in the air and forced up a floater. Yeah, he was thinking about throwing a lob right there to Trace Jackson Davis, but he was caught up in the middle of it, up, left his feet. A steal by Hood Shafina. Can't lay it in. No foul call. No Save foul. by you Jackson Davis. Hood Shafina was hurt. As a legend of Purdue basketball, and he's been terrific again today. 25 points, 15 rebounds, and what was once an Indiana 16-point lead is down to four. Well, I think when he adds that player of the year award, which I can't see anybody overtaking him to be the national player of the year, that's going to put him right there in terms of a special situation. Let's see how Indiana responds with his lead down to four. Last time they cut to the five, as you said, Bob, they got back up to 11. Good Shafino from the elbow. <laughs> Made a big shot right there, the freshman. He was a big time recruit by the Mount Verde Academy, he delivered. And he wasn't fouled. The refs made a good call on our previous play. Edie doesn't hesitate. Can't knock it down. Offensive rebound. First. And Edie, they control. First, a good offensive rebound. He's a tenacious kid. He was missed the basketball in Indiana. Smith drives. Edie is fouled on a reach in. An announcement that if one more object Throw is thrown ball. by the fans on the court, it'll be a technical foul against Indiana. Wow. Throw those people out, man. We don't need them in the building. Anybody throw something on that floor, it's so dangerous. What a nice drive. The follow by Edie off the miss by Braden Smith. Smith makes the great drive, but there's the guy coming right down the gut of the defense with the slam jam bam on the offensive rebound. 27 and 16 for Zach Eady. There's been a little foul trouble on top of it. He and Trace Jackson Davis both with three fouls. Tim first is really taking a challenge and playing Jackson Davis. He knows he wants to beat him one on one. Jackson Davis. He beats it up. Spot. Five to shoot. Hood Shafino, two on the timer. Hood Shafino knocks an air ball up there that becomes a shot clock violation. Especially right now, Jackson Davis got three fouls too. Right. Down to Edie. He goes baseline with the left hand. Tremendous reading of the defense and getting the angle. Right there, Mama approves. If a mom approves, you know you're in great shape. Instead of going to the right, to that left shoulder, rather, he came back and spun and had the open baseline drive. 
Indiana now has some real pressure on them to respond. Does their star respond for them? Jackson Davis through contact. 80 to rebound. Uh oh. Kepardu take a lead for the first time. Braden Smith picked up his dribble. Deflected ball as Renu knocked it out. Coaches are going to leave on cloud nine tonight. He's going to be celebrating, having a great meal, and other coaches are going to be as down as can be. There's no in between. Not like in TV here, we have a little in between. When you're coaching, you're either high or you're low after a game. How about trying to lob up a top? Five minutes to go. Purdue has not had the lead since it was 5 4. Boilermakers in the opening minutes of the game. Two players off the bench gave a good lift, too. Edie, that was a tough good pass steal. to handle in traffic. You know, Bob Jenkins and Gillis gave him a good lift off that bench for the Boilermakers. Jenkins hit those two big threes. That's only Purdue's third, second half turnover. Look, Shafino. Yes! Tell you one thing, he's got guts. He may have missed some shots, that kid, but that kid's got guts. As my buddy Billy Raftery say, I need baby. He's got him. There's no doubt about it. How big was that shot? And for a freshman to have, as you said, the onions to take it. He's playing tough defense right here, man. First on race Thompson. One on one. First muscles it up. And a foul call. He's so underrated as a player. He's the key for them, dude. Gives him great size, 6'10. Compliments the size, certainly a wave. Mr. Eddie. Mr. Edie. That's the Good. fourth foul called on Ray Thompson. So he becomes the first player for either team to hit four personal fouls. Now, I've seen him play quite a bit over the last couple of years. He's not anywhere near the level that he was because of that knee problem. Caleb first, 62% at the line. Hey, they wanted a battle of two big guys. Have they responded? You better believe it. But someone's leaving a happy locker room, and someone's going to be in tears in a locker room. That's the beauty of sports, man. You don't know. This is only the beginning of tonight. You had Iowa State beat Kansas. You got coming up next Carolina and Duke and the Dan and Jana gang. Be all fired up. Then you got Kentucky and Florida. Wow, what a night for college basketball. What a day, man. If you're a fanatic I am for the game, how could you not love this? Galloway created space and used the glass. So I wonder he did a great job early in the game. He's been a little quiet. That was a big bass by Galloway. Galloway right there. Look, he wants the ball. The big guy wants the ball. Oh, look at that ball. Lawyer for three. Too strong. Tapped around. First, a back tap. And Purdue has it back. Can't give them second opportunities like that. They've been dominating glass. You would see why they lead the nation with 11, 11 difference. It's unbelievable. They dominate the glass. First thought about a three. Tapped and a steal by Jackson Davis. And he draws the foul. We need more love in our nation among people. Black, white, rich, poor. Get along with one another. Too much hate. Well, here we go now. I want to drive to the goal. Lawyer finishes with the reverse. Ten one thing, he's going to be a big time player. He knows how to play. He really does. <clears throat> Has not shot well here today, but he can shoot the three, drive, plays hard every minute on the court. <laughs> Every possession, every possession so big here. Galloway, blocked by Edie. Offensive rebound race, Thompson, but he lost it. Little stutter step, bank shot for Braden Smith. Tell you, he is really my kind of player. Plays with great emotion, intensity, handles the ball well. Has an understanding of the game. Oh, Indiana back right to the wall. Here we go. Here we go.
Jackson Davis challenged by Edie. Thompson draws the foul. That was about as good a big man moment as we've seen in the yeah. wonderful big man game. How about the challenge, Edie, on Trace Jackson Davis? Here's the two big guys. There goes Edie right there. Wow. Comes over. Great defensive play. Zach really rotated over at the proper time. Now, now pressure's on to make free throws, man. Braden Smith picked up his first, and that was the last foul to give for Purdue. So free throws the rest of the way. Each team with a couple of timeouts. And Trace Jackson Davis and Zach Eady have been as advertised. Yeah, they have really been advertised, no, no doubt about it. Eady and him have really responded big time. To the book, cameras and lights, two big free throws. This kid is playing guts and heart. He's battling a knee problem. You see it all taped up there. Here we go. Boy, the big guy wants the ball badly. Look at Trace challenging it. Trace Jackson, Davis really challenged him. Uh oh. You gotta watch the offensive rebound of a missed shot. For the tie from the corner, it won't go. An offensive that, rebound, though. That's why they lead the nation to rebound. Even Morgan got like a plus 18 here today. Morton they, kept it alive off the Gillis miss. One minute to go. Can't Ten give them the second. Clock. Can't give them second opportunities, Bob. Smith caught under the basket, turns it over. He was quite in the year. He was quite in the year. Two kids out there running it quite in the air. Here comes the game, baby. You got to be able to execute right now. Be efficient. Timeout called by Indiana. We'll run that shot clock down. Obviously, you want to go to Davis. He's being played by first right now. Shot clock at five. This kid's Put not a drives it. Scores! Oh, what a move. What a move. Tell you what, he's got heart and guts, that kid. He's going to be a special player here. He went one for 14 against Merrill in the last game. He's responded here big time to Diaper Dandy. Against Penn State four days ago. Gillis, Gillis can suddenly shoot the ball. But you got to score can quick. Shoot the three as well. You got to go. score quick. Can't Boyer, wait. Down to Can't 80. wait. The jump hook is good. Just a quick score. How you try to steal, foul. Look, look, look at Sagini taking charge of the point. His big size to bother, bother the entrance of the ball. They double in the corner and a foul call. That's a smart move. He puts Sagini up on the ball. Put that size up there. Don't give him a good look. Well, it comes down to free throws, my friend. It comes down to free throws. And Indiana has been the much better free throw shooting team today. It'll today, be Galloway. No doubt today. Has, is he the inside now? It's the ball down low. It's almost impossible to stop putting them down low. It's scored. The ball takes a little slow time getting in. Trey Galloway's first trip to the line, a one and one, and he knocks down the front end. That's a big one. <laughs> I think you're getting ready for some celebration, my friend. I think you're getting ready for a little Hoosia hysteria at Assembly Hall. Do a salute out to J.D. Campbell, battling on. Had a heart surgery. He's great to us today. He's great. Yes, I do. Here they are. Two big free throws. Up five. Don't you don't want no fouls here? You don't want no fouls. Fouls. 80. Five seconds to go. Lays it in. The final timeout called by Purdue. It's a three-point game, but the clock has bled down to 4.1. 4.1. Last year they beat it by three here. They end a nine game in a row. I think we'll be okay. To, to, to come support us here. Uh, uh, police officer standing behind us. Uh, uh, here Four we go. Four seconds to go. Thompson. See, Edie, he's bothering the inbounds, boy. He Thompson. really. Edie, Edie's bothering the inbound play. And that's the last Indiana timeout. Tell you, put that big guy on the ball. You got to step to the ball. So many kids want to wait for the ball to come to them. You got to step to the basketball. Edie again. Step Guards to the ball. On the inbound. Uh -uh. There's the home run. Hook Shafino's got it. It's Cruises over. in. It's oh, over, baby. It. It's over. Who's your hysteria? There's no doubt this baby is history. Put it in the books. Put it in the books. And here they come. Number one here goes down. And they wow. storm the floor in Bloomington.